Okay, welcome to the Crow Show. Um, I think it's four or five days left in funding. Then I'm going to shut the funding site down and uh, begin to add equipment to the Crow Discovery Project. At any rate, I've got a pretty cool clip here. A guy in Germany uh, sent me footage saying he filmed the lunar wave, and I think he is correct. At any rate, uh, I'm going to open up with a few of the lunar waves that I have filmed so that we can compare them. And... Um, the last of the three waves that I have shot, I will show you just how subtle it can be. And we need to bear in mind, this was shot without the aid of a telescope. So the resolution and um, the detail, everything is going to be reduced a bit. It was shot at 100 times zoom, and I think only 50% of that zoom is optical. At any rate, here comes the 2012 wave footage in the bottom, going out of frame, coming back in frame here. Um, this is the Rosetta Stone of all the wave footage. This is the clip that made it possible for me to understand uh, what was going on. Well, I guess I don't really understand what's going on, but that it's possible to film something like this, I guess, is a better way to put it. Okay, here's another version of the wave, and I'm going to run two more after this. And here it comes from the top. And it's a pretty clear see-through wave, but very evident nonetheless. And as we look at the last two, you'll see that they get harder and harder to see as we move away from 2012. Here comes footage from the top. There it is, very clear and very quick. And then this last one is the one that was shot on the night of the eclipse, and it's almost imperceptible. Um, and here it comes. There's the first wave traveling down from the upper right, and here comes the second one. All right, let's jump into the, the footage from Germany, and a special thank you to Gustav, who really bent over backwards to just get this footage out of Germany. At any rate, uh, it's at 100% zoom, and again, 50% of that is optical zoom, and after that, it's digital. Now, an arrow is going to come in in the upper right to guide you. The waves are already traveling across the upper limb of the moon. It's very subtle. I spent four days going over this footage, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're looking at the wave here and as I enhance the footage we'll get better views of it um, people on handhelds and iPods are going to have a tough time you're going to need to look at this in 1080i and uh, at full screen now look at the upper right limb of the moon here the first wave has already passed now you can see there's the first and there's a second one traveling behind there's a third there may be as many as five subtle waves here as I enhance the footage, I, I realize that it is going all the way over the face of the moon, which is why I finally decided to post this footage. Um, the problem is, is it's going to have to encode again going up to YouTube. So at any rate, here they come on the right. As soon as it stables off, the first wave has already traveled by. You just kind of missed it. And then there's the first really visible one. I put a fine edge filter on this and blended it 90%. But you can detect that it is going all the way across the face. And those little light sparkly spots kind of lens. Um, you'll probably have to stop and reverse uh, to, to detect that. I'll do everything I can to make it apparent. And here I'm going to jack the speed up and go forwards and backwards. First one is coming in forwards. The speed is significantly increased. Here's backwards. Here's forwards. Here's backwards. And here's last time forward. And you can see the wave on the inner face of the moon here. We're going to take another look forwards and backwards at 400% zoom with a bit more effect on it. And there's forwards. There's backwards. And try to notice the lensing and try to notice the speed. There's forward again. There's backwards, and there's forwards. We're going to go backward again here, and then forward. There's backwards and forwards. And now we're going to look at the original footage of the moon uh, one more time before I break it out one last time zoomed in. Okay, so what I did here is I took the brightness down a bit, and if you pay attention to the upper limb, you'll see the waves traveling by. And there goes the, I don't know, second or third one headed towards the apex there, and then there's another subtle one coming in. What I'm going to do is darken this footage down just a hair more, and then zoom in on it for one final view. 
And again, you're going to have to look at this on a big screen to detect that the wave is in fact covering the face of the moon. Here it comes, and this wave right here is the one where you can really see uh, that it's traveling all the way across the face. There it is backwards, and it's going to come forwards again. So look at the second or third wave and look into the face of the moon, and you will notice that you can detect it. And there it is. I'm calling this confirmation of the lunar wave from Germany. Five days left in the Discovery Project. There it is. Cheers.